good afternoon. So I did promise you that I was going to do some arepas. So that is what we're doing today. Traditional kind of snacks. We had some the other day. We did a, a vlog on it. So um, Martin from uh, has been asking me to, to make these. So the traditional arepas we are making today are called Reina Pepiadas. And that is, well, Reina is queen and Pepiada is slang for kind of pretty and beautiful. Named, that's just the filling and that's named after one of the beauty queens in Colombia because her dad used to find these his favourite. So the filling is basically shredded chicken with um, mayonnaise, avocado and it's kind of stuffed in. So at this moment I've just realised that I've started prepping the uh, filling without even talking to you first. So all I've done at the minute is look, I'll show you now. Okay, in there is a uh, chicken breast, a couple of chicken breasts with some onions and uh, coriander. And that's it, Put it, bring it to the boil from cold water because it cooks evenly through. Uh, the chicken breast, if you put hot water in it, it'll cook on the outside quicker than it will on the inside. So put it in on cold water, let it boil for about 40 minutes and then just take it off the heat and let it stand and cool in the stock because then it won't dry out as quick. So that's where we're up to. And then we're gonna crack on making the arepas. He didn't say anything. Hi, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> right, so what's happened is I started yesterday and uh, I'm hanging on to my beer. <laughs> I've been out somewhat today. You did watch us on a live, but I did promise that I was going to finish the vlog, so I can do that. It's that simple. You can do it when you've had a drink. Easy peasy. So, um, what did I do yesterday? Yesterday, I made the filling for inside the arepas. The filling was dead simple. It's basically your chicken. It was boiled with uh, your oregano. Not your oregano, your coriander. <laughs> if you like oregano, pull that in. Um, and your onions, and you boil it up for 40 minutes. A couple of chicken breasts, a bit of water, boil it up, and then take it off the heat, let it stand, and it'll cool down in its own uh, stock and then stops the chicken drying out. Take the chicken out, shred it, add a bit of mayonnaise, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. That's it. I've washed my hands. Very nice. So, it's basically your filling. You can put that in your fridge. Get off me beer! I don't see anywhere. This is, this is my avocado. It's going in after. I sent Rick to the shops. He went shopping. They're not quite ripe, but hey ho, he went and bought them for us, so I couldn't complain. <laughs> Can't say anything because it's behind the camera. Even the dog's helping now. You right, pet? You right, pet? So, and now I have to wash my hands because the dog's licking them, aren't they? Oh my God, Nigella doesn't have a dog. Oh, I hold on, I hold on. I've just, I've washed my hands. What I've just realized is I can't actually use two hands to make a patty because I've got a bad thing and I've got that one there and I've got no gloves. Do you want to do it? Well, wow. Right, so here we go. I've got a glass jar. Glass jar, glass bowl for you this time. So you can see, and I've got Rick recording. This is the stuff. You can buy this on Amazon. Um, we'll put the link in the description so you can click it. It's great stuff. Honestly, it is really, really good stuff. So what I'm going to do, this is just... Your regular um, sunflower oil, vegetable oil. Come on, work! I don't put it too high. You can do this if we're sp with fry light. You can do it with a deep fry it. You can basically do it with as much or as little oil as you want. But, well, I'm not on a diet this week and I'm not on a diet next week, but there's some exciting news. Well, I don't know what the exciting bit is like, but yeah, we will not be having any fat the week after. But that's later on. I'll tell you what's happening later. So this stuff here, right, basically you are needing equal amounts of your pan corn flour to equal amounts of water. So if the easiest way to do it is get a cup or something like that. I'm wondering how much we need because we're having this for tea, which you wouldn't normally do. You'd have it, dinner. not I've got chips in. And as a bit of a tea surprise, we're making coleslaw as well. Oh my God. So this is like, is that, that's 400. So if we stick 400 grams in there of that and then water, Obviously, if you're in Tenerife or in Spain, use bottled water, people, because 
Doesn't really like you. Your cups, if you use bottled water, really can afford. That's not a bad guess, that. Pour your water in and your oil. You need oil in this. You basically just need about one, two to that. You also need salt. You put in like half a teaspoon of salt, salt and that's it. I'm going to take the pan off because it's getting a little bit hot. Yeah, you can do it. I'll, I'm going to take over filming now. Rick's going to stick his hands in and do it. So what we're doing here is just put one hand in at the minute, stir it round and start to bring it into a door. Yeah, just do that. Carry on. I swear. And go is just about to go for me, drink you with that time. Oh. Can't go much far with you without your funny hair on. Cook along with shells much better than cooking along with Nigella. <laughs> I don't have many shots of the, the booby shots and things. It can be arranged. She's got different filming, you know, for Nigella. How are we doing? It is supposed to be quite sticky. They're recording to uh, the packet, which I don't think they're always right. I don't think they're always right. I mean, let's face it. Let's face it, are we always right? <laughs> it was a man that said, wrote on the packet, not a woman. Right, how we, can we pull that into a... Yeah, I don't think so, not yet. Bit more, more, bit more in. So as he carries on. I'm just pulling that together. The dog sleeps in the background. <laughs> in the sunshine. My feet are on fire, by the way. Look at that. Rick's got lovely legs, hasn't he? Got lovely legs. <laughs> Runner's legs. I'll edit that bit out. like the dog's lying next to you. I'll edit that out. <laughs> I'll edit it. Don't edit that out. Right, right, right. Stop turning it around. Get a bit of a ball. Squeeze it tight in your hand. No, not yet. No, not yet. No. It's, no, it's still not consistent. Yeah, yeah, it's coming together. Yeah, I'll see it. Right now, flatten it down. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, bit more still what? a little bit Go too sticky. Yeah. So you don't want this together with me plaster, do you? You're doing a grand job, love. Yeah, they're about right. Right, okay. So, we're making patties here. Okay, can, can, can you just stop hiding it about? Thanks. So, so much other nice people. Yeah, so we need a bigger patty, unless you want two small ones. I don't... Okay, no. squeeze it together and then round it off a bit so it's like the same width all around the edges. Patty nor a burger. Okay, right, so let's try and get a bit of shape in it and round it off a little bit. A nice round. Mm -hmm. Happy with that? No. Yes, one moment. One moment. I'm going to put this down right. Tuck it off him. <laughs> I put the pan, the pan, the pan back on the heat. So as you can see, this is like, you know, like a patty. You know, when you go to the, the chip shop, it's like a patty. So it's a fat, so it has some kind of, push it in, so it has a, it's probably like a centimetre depth. This is probably going to cook for about four to six minutes. They don't have to be equal sizes. Let's pat it as quick as that. Done. Not much more. I wouldn't put another one in the pan because the more stuff you put in a pan, the cooler the pan becomes. There you are. So that's how it works. So I would only probably fry two at a time. If you've got a deep air fry, you can stick it in a deep air fryer. If you want to do a fry light, then you can do it that way. And you're basically just frying them like, <coughs> like anything else you'd fry. Let them fry gently. And then you're going to turn them on the other side. And I have something to show you. So you can stop that for a second while I wash my hands. I can wash my hands. Don't do the Nigella shots. You see me tan lines? <laughs> show you here is you can buy the Eurofus habit pass ready made then you all you have to do is fry them at home these are the mini Arepas you buy and this is what they look like these are the mini ones buy them in the freezers in Mogadona and most supermarkets over here they are actually the ones I think we had in there uh, well, I'm sure they were bought in. They, were, they weren't rustic enough. You know, they were very round. Can I just turn this over? 
Yeah, too busy. <laughs> too busy. But I love that one. Just like I'm making them though, isn't it? Well, how about if I make it with some coleslaw and chips? Chips are already in the oven. I mean, I mean, cut like some well chips, but sure it is. It's like oh, sure, good, aren't you? <laughs> We're frying everything else, so you're very sure winning. So everybody's made coleslaw. What I thought, but apparently not. Your, your coleslaw is good. So here we go. This is your white cabbage. How much did I pay for that? Eighty-two cents. When you're making coleslaw, right, the trick is cut it the right way and cut it thinly. So this, just shave it. The closer you get to it, the better your coleslaw kind of stands. Don't have your big chunks and don't cut it the wrong way because it just doesn't, it just doesn't taste as nice. Mind your fingers. Stay away from the core of the cabbage and just slice the cabbage as thinly as you can, keeping an eye on your air pass. Yeah, I'm just burning the crap over there, but never mind. But it's fine. It's called rustic. For me, I don't really like it when it's too get to the, the fat stuff. I don't like it. So I'm binning it. Do whatever you want for it. Some people cook for it. Cabbage to the bowl. Now these originated in Venezuela. They didn't know that. I didn't until I googled it. So <laughs> in Venezuela, apparently, it's uh, they serve them stuffed as if it's a pit of bread. In Colombia, it's well known that they would serve the filling on the top. So this is going into your onion. I was going into coleslaw. I don't think they have the coal store <laughs> in Colombia or in Venezuela. Really, this is not the best way to slice your onion, but I've sliced it the wrong way and I've got it and I need to use it. So here for As long as your onion is sliced thinly and you're not taking your fingernail off, then you will be fine. Right, grab your onion, chuck it in, fan your onion out so it separates. When you're doing it, just mix it through, it's all fine, get rid of your rubbish. Clean bench is a good bench. Oh. Oh, I'm multitasking here, girls. Right. Dog's like, ah, oh, what's left? Only pet. He's like, ah, oh, well, a bit of that. Back to the course If you don't peel your carrots, then your coleslaw will have black bits in it. Did you know that your peeler goes both ways? Some people didn't. I was quite shocked when I found out, to be honest. <laughs> My jealous ever mentioned that. I do like her from Bake Off, mine. What do they call her? The Friendly. Indian lass. No, man, the Indian lass. They won. Very, very. No, man, she's no Indian. Nadia Swan. That's the one, Nadia Waterface. I sent you out. Oh, we've got another two here. Well, I mean, one in one love heart for you, pet. Did you get that to love heart for you? <laughs> get a room. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick that in. Can you eat my other road? Please, thank you. Top to tail them as they'll sit here. Get rid of your crap, that's lying about. Because you can't work on a messy bench. And what sounds like I know what I'm doing, doesn't it? This, I have to say this, this is amazing. Got this in um, IKEA. I'll put the link below. I got the link uh, not below in, in the description. You do your great cheese and stuff like that, and it gets caught in there. How good is that? It's very good, isn't it? So you get your carrots, and it has like a smaller one. And you basically you just shred it. Oh, I hate the idea of ever shredding your fingers. Ah! Oh. But look at that! Come on. Can't put some nice music on this. 
bit. Wait a minute, I don't want them to burn. Oh, they're not burning, they are. Oh, it's better ones, second ones are better ones. Maybe I should some test this first. Oh, let's have a, let's have a drink first. The new BBC cooking programme. Let's have a beer first. <laughs> Before we start, let's go for it with a beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my arm's aching. Come on. I'll just see how much we've got there, guys. <laughs> just see what we've got there. Is that all that's done? That'll be fun. Right, so let's mix it together. There's just not enough carrot in there, is there? Separate it through. What's not bad separating them? Separate carriage through. Through your cabbage. That's not bad going. Cheek the done a little bit more of the carrot, so I'll just squeeze it all in there. Don't put this directly into your sink, Rick doesn't like it. <laughs> Neither do the plumbers of Spain. <laughs> Neither do the plumbers of Spain. Get a headmistress. Aye. So yeah. The fine I've turned them over, they need a little bit more. Right, what are your mayonnaise? For me, this is my favourite mayonnaise here. Iba. E. That's Y. You better. I'll do it for you. That's my mayonnaise. You can do this at home, but you can't do it in the restaurant. I would normally stick my hand in. I'm trying to be nice today. All you do is you just put the amount. Be careful when you put the, the mayonnaise in because you think you haven't got a lot in, and then all of a sudden it starts spreading out and you go, oh, actually. There's more in than I thought. You don't want it too gloopy. Right, okay, there you go. Simple as that. Homemade coleslaw. Don't buy it, people. It's cheap as chips to make. Please don't buy it. It tastes so much better. Ideally, if you let it stand for five minutes, then the... Uh, umami. Not the umami. No, man. Pasta dobly. No, the um, cabbage! <laughs> it starts to relax a little. Relax? It's relax it's like, oh, That's it! Just chill out. It's like, oh, and then it just, it's not as hard and crunchy. <laughs> but I mean, it will be so. So, we're just about done. These are looking quite well, actually. Let's turn these round. Oh, I'll show you how to open your avocado. Because I didn't go shopping, and Rick did. Unfortunately, you just went and saw the avocados and just picked them up. Normally, you would require your avocados to be a little softer than these bricks that I have. You would slice it around the middle or on the side, twist and lift. This leaves you with the stone inside, slam it in the middle, twist and lift, and your stone's out. That's it. Now, normally, because these are not ripe, it's pulling out some of the avocado. But it's all right, because he's a good lad. So, I'll be back with us. Okay. Right, so, when you get your avocados, you basically just get a spoon, run your spoon underneath it, hold it, and it lifts your avocado out. Done. Just feel it. If you cut it first, this won't work as well. Run it down the side, and your avocado's out. And that's it. Easy as. If you only want to use half your avocado, get the lid of the piece that's unused, Stick it back on top of it, put it in the fridge, and it'll stop it going brown as quick. It still will go brown, but not as quick. Slice your avocado. Not, that's not that bad, but ideally, avocado shouldn't have a crunch. And the way you know an avocado is ripe is the seed in the top, flick it off, and if it's kind of a yellowy colour, then it's ripe. If it's green, it's not ripe. Press with that, aren't you? I think I'll just do this for the crack, don't you? I know some stuff, me like. So, okay. So we'd open it up in the middle because inside is kind of pasty. That is your arepa. It is pasty. So what you can do is get a spoon, and what they would do is they would scoop out some of the inside. So you have your chicken. Shredded chicken. If you put a little bit of the um, stock that it was boiled in, 
into that, not too much because when it goes to the mayonnaise, it'll just split it all, just a little bit. Open it up, and I'm just ruining it. Inside, like so. Then you get your avocado. I'm sure my gel has done something similar to this. Hey man, this is not bad. Going up to three pounds. If we do it that way, <laughs> that looks better, doesn't it? Then you have your. So, jerks, unpeeled, chuck them in the oven, first fry light, we go, nothing fantastic, loads of people do it. Woo. And there you go, arepas, with a little bit of coso and homemade chips. Thanks for following the channel, don't forget to push the buttons and subscribe and ring the bell and share. Oh my God, Martin, I can't believe you made me do this, MDT. Thanks very much. See you later. It's time for a drink. Well, basically, Martin from MDT, please will you do a vlog on Arepas. All I'm going to say to you, Martin, is uh, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I didn't think they were amazing at all. Uh, if you buy them frozen from Mercadona, which we have done, they're really nice. Hang on, the dog wants to know what's going on. What do you think of it? Well, do you think it's nice? Do you? Do you think it's nice? I think we should keep it. I don't, I don't think that. That's nice. I can smell it. You don't want that. Do you? We'll take that away from you. You'd like the look of that. I can't give you that. I can't give you that. Right, come on. We need to get down now. Come on, get down. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. I didn't like it. Did you like it? No! We didn't like it. The frozen ones are miles better. Yeah, the frozen ones are really nice. Or go out and eat them in the areas. Yeah, and have the experience because, you know, I don't, I wouldn't even like to say, you know, when you cook something for the first time and you go, um, yeah, but I, the first time was crap, but I got, it was nice after that. I don't think they're ever going to be nice. No. There were two. No. Not for me. You can't love everything you make, can you? The filling was beautiful. I would suggest highly recommend the, the, the boiled chicken. That was really nice. Can we just turn around with some in the middle because it's freaking me feng shui out a bit. <laughs> so when I just put boobs in. I've sat being walking, can you see? Oh. Um, so yeah, I would, mm, I don't know. I'm not a chef, I'm not a cook. I'm just, I'm not an arepa maker by all accounts. Not by all accounts. And uh, I've got to take the chips on the oven. <laughs> So the chips were a little bit overdone. But the coleslaw was really nice. Was the coleslaw nice? Tell them the coleslaw was nice. Tell them. Tell them the coleslaw was nice. That's nice, Jill. The coleslaw was really nice. See, coleslaw was nice. Chicken was nice. It's just the rest of it was crap. Sorry, it wasn't very nice. Will I get a strike for that? Yeah. Alright, it wasn't very nice. So, um, yeah, MDT. Thanks for that. Um, I'm going to choose my own next time. <laughs> Something I know that works. And uh, I don't know where it's going to be. Oh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Just tell me what you think. That's fine. I'm going to go now. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget push buttons and stuff. Ring the bell. Bye. Say bye, Rick. Bye. Bye, Rick. <laughs> bye, Rick. Bye. <laughs>